Hey guys, Persephone Plasmids here. Um, just popping in to do a quick This Week in Gaming, which is like a bit that I've only done like once, <laughs> but we're doing it this week because we have to talk about what Sony just said. Maybe you'll be sending us a photo of your ear. Maybe you'll be sending us a video of your ears and your head and we'll make a 3D model of them. I'm sorry, what? Maybe you'll be sending us a photo of your ear. Let's just call this what it is. It sounds a lot like a creepy serial killer who's collecting tokens of all of their kills. I realize that's probably a little bit dramatic, but that was the creepiest thing I've ever heard. Um, I was sent this video today by my work, svg.com, um, because they wanted me to write an article about the creepy request that Sony just made. And we'll make a 3D model of them. Um, so let's back up a little bit here. So the architect of the PlayStation 5, I think it's Mark Cerny, held a tech conference today to share all of the specs of the new PlayStation 5. This is great news because we haven't really had any information regarding the PlayStation 5. All we've had are leaks and rumors and speculation, which is not super helpful because it's not confirmation of any actual, like, solid, this is what we're doing. So it was really great that PlayStation decided amidst the quarantine that they were going to give us a little bit of information. It's like they threw us a bone, so thank you for that, Sony. During this meeting, the architect talked about all of the different specs. They talked about the expandable storage that the PlayStation 5 will have, which is kind of awesome. Talked about the GPU, but one of the big things is they talked about the audio. So he talked about the way that everybody hears and interprets sound, and it's different for every person, and so basically the new PlayStation 5 is going to have a lot of different options. I think he said there would be about five different options for the way that you can hear the sound. Now, in talking about possibly down the road further personalizing the audio per user, he suggested maybe we should take a picture of our ear and send it to PlayStation. Maybe you'll be sending us a photo of your ear. Or maybe even a video of our ears in our head and then they can make a 3D model of our ears and then personalize the audio that way because that's a totally normal thing to request of people is to send in a video of your ears so that someone can make a 3D model of it. There's no red flags there. That's not a serial killer request at all. Everything's totally fine, guys. Stop freaking out. Maybe freak out a little bit because it's kind of creepy. So these suggestions, obviously, I don't think were super serious. I mean, I don't think that Sony really wants people to send pictures of their ears in the future. I think it was just kind of a suggestion on different ways they could possibly personalize things in the future. But just the way that it was said... Maybe you'll be sending us a photo of your ear. That's all I even wanted to talk about. I just wanted to pop on simply to say that PlayStation wants you to send them pictures of ears. I mean, I guess your ears, but I mean, probably any ears will do, right? This brought to you by the totally normal request at the hands of a totally normal person who's definitely not a serial killer creating a statue of you out of strangers' ears. Stay safe during the quarantine. Remember to wash your hands, which you should have been doing anyway. Gross. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe or else I will send Sony pictures of your ears without your permission. Just kidding. Don't sue me. I don't have access to your ears. Bye! This is a, a journey we'll all be taking together over the next few years. Mm -hmm.